Posteromedial approach to the ankle. A brief video. Indications. Exposure of the posterior malleolus. Clubfoot correction in pediatric patients. Posteromedial talus osteochondritis dissecans lesions. Positioning. Supine. Flexion of the hip and knee. Place the lateral side of the affected ankle on the opposite knee. Lateral position with the affected leg nearest the table. Flexion of the opposite knee moves its ankle out of the way. Placing a bump under the contralateral hip allows maximal external rotation of the hip. The retractor should be placed posterior to the FHL to protect the bundle. Incision. An 8 to 10 centimeter incision should be made midway between the medial malleolus and Achilles tendon at the level of the ankle. See figure. Superficial dissection. First figure. Notice the incision line. Notice the Achilles tendon beneath the fascia. Notice the flexor retinaculum. Superficial dissection. Second figure. Notice the fascia of deep flexor retinaculum. Deep dissection. Using blunt dissection, identify the fat plane between the Achilles tendon and FHL. Figure, retract the Achilles tendon and retrotendinous fat laterally, which exposes the fascia of the deeper flexor compartment. Figure. Deep dissection. Using blunt dissection, identify the fat plane between the Achilles tendon and FHL. Figure, retract the Achilles tendon and retrotendinous fat laterally, which exposes the fascia of the deeper flexor compartment. Figure. Deep dissection. Identify the fascial plane in the anterior flap that covers the tendons of the flexor retinaculum. Incise this deep fascia along the length of the incision, and one by one expose and identify the contents of the flexor retinaculum. Deep dissection. The FHL tendon protects the more anterior and medial tibial nerve and the posterior tibial artery slash vein. This procedure facilitates medial retraction of the structures, aiding exposure of the posterior malleolus and the posterior part of the ankle joint. Hazards, FHL tendon, tibial nerve, and posterior tibial artery and vein. Closure. Do not attempt to close the flexor retinaculum. Standard two-layered closure of subcutaneous tissue and skin is performed. Thanks for watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe to my non-profit YouTube channel.